question. I was going to say the fourth book, which I mean, like, technically is still correct. It's we're dropping the book. Why am I like this? Why can I not hold books? Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with the mid-year freakout book tag. It was originally created by Chami over at Read Like Wildfire, so I'll leave her link down below for her original video, and you can go check that out if you're interested. There are, like, 15 questions I think so without further ado let us get started so I've actually read a total of 70 books already my goal is to read 125 so I mean like we're on the right track I think I'm like 15 ahead of schedule or something like that so like we're getting there the first question is the best book that you've read for 2017 so far and I am going with Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars I was not expecting it to like it as much as I did. I have a full review of it if you're interested. I think this was like the second book I read for the year of 2017 and I still think about it so like that's when you know it was a good book. But it's like a YA mystery thriller contemporary all packed into one. It's so good. The second question is the best sequel that you've read so far in 2017. And like this should not come to any surprise. It's Radio by Sophia Elaine Hansen. I love Sophia Elaine Hansen, and I love her vinyl trilogy. The first book is Vinyl Simon's coming out in 2018, and you know your girl is way too excited about it. I absolutely love these books. If you haven't read the vinyl trilogy, like, please go to Amazon and read them because, like, so good. The third question is a new release that you haven't read yet, and I'm going with Bad Romance by Heather Dimit. Trius. Probably saying that wrong, but like one look at this cover. Two, I'm actually going to be reading it in August with Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5. We are creating a new book club. It's called the Random Books Monthly Book Club. And I'll leave the links for the Goodreads group down below and the Twitter if you guys want to come join us. But our August book is going to be Bad Romance. Our July book is uh, Queen of Geeks. So if you want to join us and read Queen of Geeks with us, then like please join us because it'll be fun. The fourth question is your most anticipated release for the second half of the year and I am going with Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Marissa Meyer is one of my favorite authors and she's writing another book. You know your girl needs all the Marissa Meyer in her life so I am way too excited about this. Question five is your biggest disappointment. I didn't have high hopes going into this book. But once I read it, I hated it with such a passion. Like, if I could give a book zero stars, I would give this book zero stars. I had so many problems with it. I'll leave the link to my Goodreads review of it if you want down below, if you want to check out all my angry thoughts about it. There's a lot. But it's called The Little Woods by... Something Templeton, Templeman, McCormack, Templeman, something like that. Honestly, I don't care about this book. Don't read it. Question six was your biggest surprise, and I'm going with We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. Dylan actually sent me this book, and like, I wasn't really expecting to like it because I was reading it because Dylan was like, you need to read it, so I was like, fine, whatever. It is so underrated. If Dylan has not hounded you to read this book yet, he probably will soon. And, and you should read it. Like, <sighs> five out of five stars. Henry and Diego are my little cinnamon rolls. They're so cute, and I love them so much. This book is said to be a contemporary sci-fi book, but like it is so much more than that. I'm also going to say The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern because I had not expected to like this book as much as I did. My mom, it's one of her favorite books, which is actually why there's like a bookmark in it right now because she's rereading it yet again. I went into the book not really thinking I was going to like it. I was reading it because she wanted me to and I loved this book. I think it's so like whimsical and magical. I think that everybody should read this book because I think everybody would get a different perspective of it, if that makes sense. Like, there's something in it for everybody. So, I highly recommend this book, and it definitely surprised me. Question 7 is your favorite new author, so it's either new to you or a debut author. The book or author that I'm going with is going to be Jandy Nelson. I've never read a Jandy Nelson book before, but I read I'll Give You the Sun this year. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Oh my gosh, her writing style is so, like, poetic, and I was not expecting to like this book as much as I did. Everybody was saying how amazing it was, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, I never like books that other people like, so, like, I'm probably gonna hate it, but, like, hoo 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 was I wrong? I'm going to be picking up a lot more Jandy Nelson. If I can find her books, I just... Highly recommend reading it because it's just a really beautiful story as well. Question 8 is your newest fictional crush. And if you're interested, I have a whole video on my fictional crushes. My newest, like, 2017 fictional crush. I would say is Levi from The Color Project, but I'm using that book for another question, so I'm going to pick somebody different. So, so I'm going to pick West from Shadow of a Girl by Shannon Greenland. He is 
so adorable. He's such a genuine, sweet person. And I have a full review of the book if you want to check it out. A lot of people have not heard of this book. I did a review of it for a booktube tour, and I had never heard of the author or anything. But Wes, man. Question number nine is your newest favorite character, and I'm picking a character from a book I'm actually reading right now. So, like, I might end up hating him in the end, but right now I am loving him to death. And it is Howie from I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga. And Howie is the main character, Jas's best friend. He is so funny and is such a good comic relief for this book. It's all about serial killers, and if you, you know me, like, I love serial killers, so you would think I like the serial killer, but no, I like the best friend in the book because logic but he's so cute and so funny and I just I need him in my life because we would get along so well question 10 is a book that made you cry and this is the first book in the history of ever to make me cry so obviously it needs to be on this list and it is it ends with us by Colleen Hoover I have a full review of this book if you're interested in my full thoughts but I cried at least three different times in this book it's such a heartbreaking book and I related to the main character so much so if a book can make me cry, you know. You know it's a good book because I literally never cry. Question 11 was a book that made you happy and I am going with The Color Project by Sierra Abrams. It's so cute and Levi and Bee are adorable and their relationship made me so happy and I just wanted to squish them both the entire book. They're so adorable. Question number 12 is your favorite book to movie adaptation that you saw this year. And honestly, I haven't really seen any other than Everything Everything and like I didn't really like the movie that much. I was honestly making fun of it with my mom the entire movie so... I don't want to say that, and I also haven't read the Everything Everything book, so, like, I don't want to say that either, because, like, I feel like it's not fair. So, the one that I'm going with, I don't know if it actually counts, but I'm gonna say King Arthur. I mean, King Arthur is a book, right? So, like, it should count, and that movie was so good. Like, I loved it, and also, the guy who plays King Arthur is such a hottie, like, newest celebrity crush. Oh my god. Question 13 is your favorite video that you've made this year. And I have, like, multiple that I could pick, so the first three I think that come to mind that I like really liked making were my Harry Potter vlogs because if you're new to this channel I've never read Harry Potter I'm 21 years old and I'm like currently reading through the whole series and I'm vlogging my experience and I just think it's funny seeing my reaction and I think it's gonna be funny looking back on it and seeing my reaction and being like I don't remember any of this what the heck is happening and literally my mind being blown the entire time I say I really liked my book pet peeves video I think I filmed that last year, but I uploaded it this year. And it's actually so entertaining to see how angry I get. Like, I get angry when I'm talking. I go on a rant, and it. I watched it the other day, and I was laughing at myself because I get so heated. And then the third video I'm going to say is my worst interview ever story time video. Because, like, obviously that's something different on my channel than, like, my usual book videos but that story makes me laugh every time like that was such a terrible experience but like looking back it's funny like you you live and you learn you know I'll leave the links to all three of those videos down below if you're interested. I think they're funny. The 14th question is the most beautiful book that you got this year or received this year. And I technically did not get this book this year, but I read it this year, so like I'm counting it. And it's The Diviners by Libba Bray. Look at this cover, it is so pretty, but then, just you wait, when you take it off, huh, huh, it's still pretty. Like, oh, the spine, the cover, the back, the beautiful. Oh my god, I love this cover and this book. And like, even with the dust jacket on, it's still gorgeous. Even though I didn't technically get the book this year, I'm counting it. And um, this is my channel, so deal with it. Final question is, what books do you need to read by the end of this year? And honestly, like, my entire shelves, because like, uh, over half of them are unread books and books that I haven't read yet because who actually reads their books? Apparently not me. The two that came to my mind like instantly when I read this question was The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. And honestly I need to read all the Victoria Schwab books because everybody loves them and I've yet to read one of them. And then the other one that instantly came to my mind was The Grisha Trilogy by Lee Bardugo. I haven't read a Lee Bardugo book either but apparently this is a really good trilogy and I want to read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom but like I haven't read this one so like I have no right to do that. Alright guys so that was the mid-year freak out book tag i tag literally every single one of you do it right now and like i'll probably put it out on twitter and say that i tag people and even if they like don't want to do it like too bad you're tagged i will see you all in my next video goodbye